information is free, guys. Like I always say, just put in the effort to find out whatever question that you have about anything in the world. The only thing you got to do is just go online, type it in the search engine, and it will pop up. We don't live in the 90s. You know, we don't live in the 80s. We don't live in the 70s. This is the 21st century. So for the majority of the questions that you have about anything, it could be a question you have about science, religion, politics, whatever. Just type it in a search engine and you'll get uh, something will pop up that will help you on your quest for the truth, you know, for the facts, especially when it comes down to relationships. And uh, one of the uh, websites that I want to show you in this uh, series about early Red Pill content is that uh, there's like a lot of blogs online that have been around for like a long, long time that uh, people don't utilize. Of course, uh, you know, YouTube videos are good, but I would say that if you really want to uh, dig deep into the uh, the whole science of relationships, female nature, or what have you, uh, it's always good to read up on it. You know, when you read something, you, you'll, you'll digest it deeper into your conscious, conscience, you know. You know, instead of watching video, videos are fine, but it's always good to every once in a while get into the habit of reading. I know it's hard because we live in a in a world where like everybody has very short attention spans. Even I have a very a short attention span. I have a very short attention span, and I have like a lot of books. And uh, I read a lot, but that's, I still have like a lot of books I bought like a long time ago. I haven't read yet. Because like a typical adult, you know, I work, pay bills, got stuff I got to do. So I don't really have that enough time to like sit down and read all the time because I don't have that much free time, you know. But uh, by this video, I just want to show you a few uh, blogs online that are they're kind of old, but the information is still very, very useful. And uh, this blog right here is called So Suave. And so suave is like an early rip hit website. Have like different articles on here concerning how to deal with uh, women. Uh, just go on so and uh, you know they have like different articles. And I think I believe Rose Tomasi used to write articles for uh, so suave as well. You know they have like a lot of good uh, good articles that get, that can help you out. You know it's you know mainly for men. You know. What up questions they have about female nature or whatever? Just go on this website, you know, it's still up there. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if they still upload articles on this side or not, you know. But I, I'm, I'm assuming that they don't. Maybe, maybe, they, maybe they do. I don't know. But I know it's like an old website, you know. They still haven't took it down yet. <laughs> but uh, you know, they still. I mean, there's still like a lot of good information on here. You know, what I'm saying to help, uh, you know, help men out. And they're good rip hill content. And also, I want to show you uh, something about... Um, uh, there's this guy. He's kind of like a really mysterious guy. Uh, he calls himself Bell Rock. And uh, back in... I think... Uh, let's go back to like... I think he put this out back in 2010. Uh, Bell Rock, he's a... Uh, I don't think nobody knows what he looks like. Uh, I think that he's used to... Uh, he, he post, uh, used to uh, put stuff up on the uh, Return of Kings website uh, with a Rouge V. And uh, this one's called Solomon Blog 2, Solomon 2 Blog, or the Book of Solomon 2. And uh, this is off uh, the Return of Kings. So you just go to returnofkings.com and type in the Solomon group. It'll pop up. And uh, this, uh, this I've read it, and this, this brother... You know, I don't know if he's I don't know if he's black, but you know what I'm saying. But he, I think he's a white guy. I don't know what I don't know what race he is. Like I said, no, I don't think no anybody knows who he is because of the story behind him. You know, he's supposed to lie. Same thing with this other guy named Pook. Uh, back in the day, nobody knows what happened to him. He's a, he's supposed some like good stuff, 
Then he just disappeared. Nobody knows what happened to him. But uh, you can still find the material online. In this uh, document, uh, the book of Solomon 2, uh, it, it, this, this I read it. it this, I downloaded it. And that this this done so far, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause uh, it's biblical, but it's kind of the best way I can articulate it is like he uses like biblical stuff, but still like hardcore Christian. I mean, hardcore red pill, modern stuff that talk about women's women's nature, how to deal with women. It talks about feminism. Uh, shoot, it just, uh, <laughs> you know, it did just jump fire, you know, you know, and I might, might read you like a few excerpts, I think, if I could find them. I mean, it's just some, some fire stuff, but it's fire stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, never spend money on the woman you're not banging, no lay, no pay, never agree with a woman you're not banging, no ass, no sass, so, so you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, uh, let me see something else, I, I'm not going to read the whole thing, like I said, it's long, it's like 93 pages, you know what I'm saying, uh, shoot, uh, but, you know, like I said, I'm just growing through it, man, I'm just trying to find out some highlights, that, you know what I'm saying, so, so you, you, you can check it out, and, uh, let me see, Man, it's all about like weak weak women feeling the whole left by their soul and the soul by an absent father with cock. <laughs> Let me read this again. Women, weak women feel the whole left in their soul by an absent, distant father with cock and feel bad about it later. Strong women feel the whole left in their soul by an absent, dis distant father with cock and brag about it later. In the end, somewhere around the age of 27, TikTok, TikTok, talking about the clock, you know, biological clock. Both types of women will rationalize their behavior away and try to pass themselves off to you as long-term material. You know, you know, but, uh, oh, man, let me get a chance, man. Just go on to uh, returnkings.com and type in the Solomon Group and download this uh, PDF file. And they really, they really need to put it in book form. You know, I would love that they put it in book form, but uh, but this is like classic material. I, uh, the date on here is uh, came out in 2010, like the early, you know, but I think it's like a compilation of his blogs. But he started putting this together back in August 19th, 2010. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I like the beginning. Uh, I am not a guy, a dude, or a boy, I am a man. I refer to myself as such, I demand others to do the same. Men are responsible for 99.9% .9 of everything we worth celebrating, lamenting, embracing, and shunning in recorded history. Good and evil are defined, constructed, and introduced to the world by men. Take your societal position seriously and never allow women or feminized pussy boys to erode what it, what it means to be a man. Never let them use shaming language to strip you of your title. You know, Proverbs 1, the man by Del Rock. <laughs> yeah, like I said, to get a chance, man, just go on, uh, return, go back to Return to Kings and just, uh, download it, you know, download it on the computer and just read it, man. It's fire. And, uh, of course, uh, you got, uh, the Rational Mail blog, which is, uh, Rosa Masi's, uh, blog website where he posts his blog, you know, as it's, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, uh, Rolos Masi, Post a like an article or blog, or whatever uh, he upload on here, and also he has a WordPress, I believe, too. And uh, you know, so whatever, if you're not going to get into uh, more re good rip hill content, uh, just go on therationalmail.com and just uh, check out Rolo's uh, latest blogs, and also, of course, uh, go on Amazon, buy his books. You know, and uh, you know, it has like four volumes. The Rational Mail. Check that out. And uh, last but not least, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, this is by uh, the YouTuber named Mr. Lacario. Uh, if you're familiar with him, he's a brother. <laughs> he has like a very popular uh, dating channel on YouTube. Him and uh, Miles Cunningham, and he also with uh, Steve Steve Williams, and uh. 
you when you go online, uh, you can go on the uh, things like badboymembership.com. And Mr. Lucario, he's been around for like a long, long time, even before Red Pill. Because even he said himself that when Mr. Lucario started uh, uploading, uh, when he started his YouTube channel, uh, that was like long before the Red Pill really took off. So he's like, uh, a lot of people don't realize he's been around for like a long, long time. And uh, one of my one of his one of my favorites that he put out is called the Magnificent Ten Crucial Dating Tips for Men by Mr. Lucario. Back in came out back in two thousand nine. Uh, it's very very short, but it's it, it's short, but it goes straight to the point. It's uh, I like it for just for that reason that it's just straight to the point. It doesn't get too analytical. It doesn't get too sophisticated. It's just bang, bang, bang. You know, just here's the point. Here's the topic. Here's the point. Move on. That's the way I like it. And uh, number three, one of my favorites, uh, you're not a nice guy, so don't act like one. And uh, let, me, let me read it right quick. This is chapter three. The force read the whole book. But, uh... And this one is uh I, I can't find like the book form. We could just find a PDF. You know, I really I really I really really wish it was like a booklet because I'm a book freak. I like books. You know, what I'm saying I really wish uh, he'd put out maybe he maybe it's, it is on book form. I don't know, but uh chapter chapter three, you're not a nice guy, so don't act like it. Don't act like one. Uh, let me see this. Uh, you want her to like you. You want to oppress her. You want to. You want her to feel good around you. But then she said, "I'm too nice." What the fuck? So many men have told me they 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 were turned down for being a nice guy. You've probably heard similar stories. Why you you've wondered would a woman turn down a really nice guy? Uh, a guy might think that a woman will like him more if he caters to her. Never disagrees with her, and always tries to impress her. He'll try not. He'll try not to state his own opinions, thinking that this will make her like him. But the truth is that women don't like nice guys. They don't. I mean, they know it's an act. He's not being himself. They think he's just acting nice. They usually assume that guys who do this are insecure or have ulterior motives. Uh, the fact is that you're not a nice guy, and you shouldn't act. You shouldn't be acting like one. Uh, don't take it personally. Nobody is a nice guy. What I'm saying is that you probably don't agree with all her opinions. You don't like all of her favorite spots, and you don't think everything she says is interesting. You might enjoy and agree on some things, but if you're playing the nice guy, then she won't know. But you actually agree on or what's part of part of the act. Uh, you're not giving her a chance to know that you really are nice and interesting in your own way. You probably are a nice guy, but a nice guy, but a nice guy act doesn't nice guy act doesn't always maybe doesn't allow you to access that. It doesn't show your cool, fun, or naturally nice side. So basically, all you have to do is act like yourself with a woman. At first, it might feel awkward to let her know that you disagree or that you have different purposes. But it will show that you're someone who speaks his mind and isn't constantly trying to oppress her. You will appear more confident and more, more yourself. She'll be able to see your true nice side. And not be frustrated with the nice guy act. Uh, basically, what he's saying is that when you see, like, you say, like, you're dating uh, a woman that you really like, you know, she's fine. She's like the perfect woman that you always wanted. And, and uh, you might be scared to uh, lose her. So, what, what guys usually do is like they, they tap dance for her pretty much. You know, they. They try to do, they try to please her all the time. You know, she might say something dumb, and you agree with it, just to appear that you're with her. You know what I'm saying? So, so she won't. You know, so you because you, it's that fear. Like, you know, if she if we disagree, then she might not like me. Then she goes somebody else. 
But she's basically, Mr. Carr is pretty much saying it just be yourself, no matter what. Don't lie to a woman. You know, say don't, don't, you know, saying don't try to impress her. You know, just, uh, you know, don't, don't lie to her about your job, your money, whatever. You know, what I'm saying don't uh, leave with the wallet. You know, say just be yourself. And uh, and it goes back uh, to what Donovan Sharp said that really stuck with me. There's a difference between attraction and arousal. And uh, Mr. Mr. Lacario says the same thing because you can have like a high value man. Uh, let's say you got a guy, you know, he got, you know, he got a college degree, a good job, makes a lot of money, drives a nice car, handsome, good physique, artic articulate, uh, loves his mama, go to church, whatever. <laughs> you know, that perfect guy. That doesn't necessarily equate that a woman is turned on by that. You know, so a woman might find that attractive. She might be attractive because he has for a 401k, he has a savings account, you know, he, you know, he has good credit, whatever. They might be attracted to that that aspect, but they're not aroused by him. What I mean by that, he may not exude sex appeal, you know. And uh there's I mean, there's like a lot of good guys out there, you know, who who got it together, who are good looking. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Healthy and all kind of stuff, but women are not turned on by that. Because women, just like uh that quote by Tucker Carlson from from a while back when he was on that shock jock show, he was pretty much saying that women are primitive. You know what I'm saying? Women uh they don't really like thinking the same way we're thinking, you know, because they might, you know, they just they're they're turned on by confidence. Uh, even he, he, he probably say they're turned on by a little bit of disagreeableness. That's why they like the bad boys, you know. So, so you know, they might have all, all your shit together, you know. And why? Well, how come she don't like me? You know, so I did everything my mama told me to do, <laughs> but she's still going with the bad boy because women. I, this is just my personal opinion. Uh, a majority of women they are they're attracted by disagreeableness. You know, if you if you have a disagreeable character, if you're, if you're rebellious, a lot of women are turned on by that. So if you don't, if you're just like a too squeaky clean, too nice, you know, they're not really gonna be turned on by you like that. You know, this just uh the the way I see it, and you know what I'm saying. But uh, when you get a chance, uh, check out Soul Suave. Uh, go back to the Return of Kings, which I talked about in the last video. I was talking about uh, Roosh V, the Return of Kings. Uh, go back to the Return of Kings. Type in Solomon Blog by Del Rock. Read it. Download it. And uh, check out the Rational Mail. Earl Tomas' website. And uh, and go on uh, Mr. Lucario. Go on Google. Type in Mr. Lucario. Or type in uh, Bad Boy Membership. Check out the Magnificent Ten. He also made a video uh use a video that that accompanies all the points he said in this uh booklet right here so go on youtube and miss lucario's web miss lucario's youtube channel type in a magnificent 10 check that out and i should have uh put this other guy uh look up the the book of pook uh, i might talk about that in the next video i probably or either that if i can i don't know if it's uh it might be on amazon uh, let me see if I can find it on Amazon right quick. Uh, because the book of Pooh, that's actually that's actually a book. I mean, it's a uh, hold on a second. Oh shit! Let me see. Uh, book of Pooh. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's still in print. Uh, let me see, cause that's like another. It's kind of like to say it's kind of similar to Del Rock's book. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's still in print or not. If I can't find it, I can't, I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Got a slow internet. Uh, the book of Pook by Pook. Oh, uh, there it is. The Book of Pook. Yeah, go on Amazon and check that out. Even I haven't bought the book yet, but I, but I, but I follow his uh, Twitter account. But uh, but uh, Book of Pook, check that out. 
and it has like a lot of good rip hill stuff in it or either that if, if you don't want to buy the book just go on twitter and type in the book of pook and it's like a uh i don't know if he manages that twitter account but it's kind of like one of those automatic bot twitter accounts they just like put quotes and stuff like that from the book on there so uh that's why i read but uh that, this is definitely on my wish list but he's like a uh, old school rip hill guy who mysteriously who mysteriously vanished nobody knows what happened to him <laughs> all day i'm the same thing bad happened to him but i'm just saying that you know same thing with the rock you know that you know you have like a lot of people <laughs> they're online nobody knows what they look like then they you know back in early 2000s and they just disappeared you know, same thing with like a lot of the old school uh, MGTOW, MGTOW guys, like uh, Barbarossa, people like that. But uh, I just want to uh, put this out. So make sure you guys uh, visit visit the links, visit the websites, you know, download the books on PDF, read it, study it. And I'll come back with another video with some uh, old school Red Pill stuff you can check out. And uh, that's all I got to say. And peace.